Hi there, my name is Steven, and I'm a product manager for Terraform on Azure. A year ago, the Terraform on Azure team announced public preview of Azure Terrify, a tool designed to bring existing Azure resources into Terraform management. Over the past year, the team has worked hard to improve the tool based on your feedback. In this video, we'll be reintroducing the tool, now named Azure Expert for Terraform, along with all of its newly added functionality, with real examples of how to utilize its capabilities in a variety of scenarios. If you are in a role that needs to constantly maintain, upgrade, and improve your existing infrastructure, Azure Export accelerates your translation of Azure concepts into Terraform concepts. Azure Export simplifies migration of up to hundreds of Azure resources in a Terraform HCL and or state with just a single command. Azure Export supports plan apply workflows for moving non-Terraform infrastructure into your Terraform environment. Azure Export exposes all configurable Terraform properties at your desired resource scope. Azure Export offers automated and manual filtering on your resource scope. Ready to see how? Let's dive into it. We have a subscription of resources that need to be brought into Terraform management. It's our first time working with Azure Export, so we want to see what it's capable of before we start. We start with just exporting a resource group within the subscription that contains a VM. To do so, we just need to specify the resource group command and our resource group's name. That's it. After some seconds of loading, we get greeted by the following user interface. Using the arrow keys to navigate, I verify that all my resources have been automatically identified and mapped to their corresponding Azure RM resource type. All that's left is to press W to export. Just like that, I've managed to export the entire resource group into Terraform state and HCL code. Let's check out the code. We've taken some of the information that's sensitive out of here, but you'll notice that all of my listed resources in the UI have been converted over. Now I can run Terraform plan, and I see that no changes are needed. This is great. It means we can begin managing the Azure infrastructure in Terraform. If you're curious about the code, we have a link to the GitHub repo in the description. Now that we feel a bit more confident in the tool, we'd like to try exporting at the subscription scope. However, we know the subscription has a ton of resources and want to avoid exporting too many at once. Azure Export's query command will help us here, as it supports Azure Resource Graph query parameters. We filter resources by the production tag. This gives us the full list of all the resources. I press S to save the list into a JSON, which maps from the Azure Resource ID to the corresponding Azure RM Terraform resource type. We call this file the mapping file. After looking at the mapping file, I decide to filter by resource type as well. Here you can see the query that I run. This time, I already know from the mapping file what will be exported. So I use the non-interactive flag to skip the UI and the output directory flag to create a new folder that we export into. Once I run this, we have all of the resources filtered and generated as we wanted. In this video, we walked you through exporting a resource group with Azure Export for Terraform, as well as applying filters on a subscription using the tool. We're very excited to get this in your hands and hope you find it handy for your scenarios. Ready to get started? Visit this link for the Azure Export for Terraform documentation below, which includes quick starts and deeper dives into features and functionality of the tool. And of course, if you haven't yet, visit the GitHub to install the tool. Thank you.